सेकेंड दिन क्लस शिखब कि पार्सियल डिफारेंसियल इक्ुएशन अफ फार्ष्ट अर्डार सल्व करब तो यटार जो हमारे फार्ष्टे प्रमाण करब जो कि एक समीकरण जेटार आकार ए रकम Uh, when small p is del z del x and capital small q is del z del y and p q r can be function of x x y and z respectively to shetar jonno amra dekhabo je samadhan ke amra ei bhabe likhte pari acha amra ekta jinish mathay rakhbo jodi amader ekti partial differential equation ei rokom hoy that is f is a function of x and y and z when z is depending on x and y and p is equal to del z del x and q is equal to del z del y and that thing is equal to zero then jehetu duty first order er differentiations ache so we will have two arbitrary constants say a and b and we can show that uh, somehow we can see the thing is like if if you uh, write it like that u a function of i mean say this is a solution u x y z is equal to c1 and v x y z is equal to c2 then says simply you can uh, i mean think it think it like suppose there is a function u v it's written like c2 u minus mm, c1 v now see whenever you are taking f is a function of c1 and c2 then this thing goes to zero right so this uh, these surfaces actually makes this thing is equal to zero so from there only uh, uh, say i mean whenever we will solve this differential equation and uh, we can write it i mean the solution can be write as this particular equation where if is an arbitrary function uh, as i have mentioned just earlier that you can take it like c2 multiplied with u and c1 min mi minus c1 multiplied with v then uh, you can see that this thing is equal to zero and uh, u x y z where this u x y z will be a constant and v x y z will be another constant and the solution of the equation uh, can be uh, formed uh, as a structure this p x y z d y q x y z is equal to dz over r x y z okay now uh, how we will uh, prove that so uh, uh, for the first we what we take that uh, say uh, uh, we are we are given these two equations right so from there uh, say we are differentiating are taking a differential of this equation now differential of c1 is equal to 0 right and this is equal to du and as u is depending on x y and z separately so we write del u del x dx del u del y dy del u del z dz this is uh, uh, this is i mean uh, as u is depending on u i mean x y and z then this is a chain rule thing that is every uh, dependence is are taken as the differential co uh, co differential coefficient and uh, the uh, differentiation is multiplied as well and similarly for uh, v we can write it like dv is equal to del v del x dx that is along the x thing and then del v del y dy along the y thing and del v del z dz okay now uh, this uh, shows that uh, we can solve it like for dx so cross multiplication rule is showing that this should be del u del y multiplied with del v del z del u del z del v del y is equal to dy over cross multiplication shambhavoto banglai shet atakamra budhai bajra gunan boli ami terminology yudhi bhul kore thakki pare tamra sheta commenta janiye debe del v 
del x minus del u del x del v del z is equal to dz over del u del x del v del y minus del u del y del v del x okay so uh, so uh, these are the solution primarily these are the solutions now this is actually nothing but if we write this as a uh, uh, as a determinant form then we can see that this is del u del y del v del z del u del z del v del y and that this is actually a jacobian right this is a jacobian of u v over y z similarly so this is a jacobian of uh, del u v del z x and this is a jacobian of del u v del x y right uh, so uh, now um, whenever we, we, I mean we have already proved in the last class that whenever you are given a uh, equation is this then uh, the when f is an arbitrary function then the partial differential equation we have formed already this is of the form small p del u v del y z plus q del u v del z x is equal to del u v del x y and uh, again the point is uh, the same thing I mean the equations can be written as d x by p is equal to d y by q is equal to d z by r actually I mean I'm just writing here the previous equation that is this equation this equation if we write there that p p plus q q is equal to r and this is another equation so this two equation combining gives us this one and we're taking the help that this uh, equation with an arbitrary function f generates a differential equation uh, given by this only so uh, the already uh, from this solution gives us that uh, these two should be compared and this result is obtained so uh, the solution of these equations are known to be u x y z is equal to c1 and v x y z is equal to c2 and hence the arbitrary function capital f of u v is equal to 0 is the required solution of the differential equation so now what we'll do uh, we will go for some problem solutions <coughs> now uh, the first question is given as y square p x y q is equal to x z minus 2 y so the auxiliary equation or legendary auxiliary equation is given as dx by y square dy by minus x y is equal to dz x z minus 2 y right so taking this first two we can see this is dx by y is equal to dy by minus x that turns to be x dx plus y dy is equal to zero that is x square plus y square is equal to some c1 okay very good and then the next uh, integral part we should uh, find out and this is 
say this part with this part whenever we will compa uh, com um, compare them dy is equal to minus y and dz is by z minus 2y and combining them this will turn to be z dy and y dz so y dz in this side minus 2y dy is equal to 0 and this turns to be z y and this turns to be y square and that is equal to c2 now to have to we have two uh, functions of u i mean uh, we can say this is u and this is v so ultimately we can write for an arbitrary function f x square plus y square z y minus y square this is equal to zero and this is the solution uh, next problem <coughs> the problem is given as this minus again we will construct the uh, auxiliary equation For, I mean to solve what we'll do some tricky uh, we'll uh, apply multiply x with the numerator and denominator both and y with the numerator and denominator and both and we will add them and this will be x dx plus y dy is equal to xy plus 2x square minus x is sorry this is xy minus x y z uh, sorry y square z and this is equal to dz over x square minus y square now the numerator turns out to be d of x square by 2 plus y square by 2 and this two cancels out I guess I have written wrongly I and mean, this problem is zx and this is zx and this is zx square then only this can be solved easily z is equal to x square minus y square is equal to dz over x square minus y square so ultimately we have d of x square by 2 plus y square by 2 is equal to z dz so we have x square plus y square minus z square is equal to c1 and similarly we will now multiply the first equation by the numerator and denominator by y and the second numerator and denominator both by uh, say x and this will turn to be y square plus x y z minus x square minus x y z and that is equal to dz over x square minus y square and simply this cancels out and this cancels out remaining a minus one so ultimately we have x y from this side and from this side as z is equal to c2 so we can write now f is equal f of x square plus y square minus z square comma x y plus z is equal to 0 and this is the solution <coughs>